Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel genome wide study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos if you have done the genome wide analysis and find out some putative gene from the family like after the genome wide analysis of hsp70 protein family from tomato we have found that the hsp71 gene of tomato is closely related to bip3 gene of arabidopsis in form of different analysis like expression analysis phylogenetic analysis or other analysis or like domain or other thing so we predict that the function of hsp71 gene of tomato will be the similar to that of the bip3 gene of arabidopsis so we need to do its functional characterization to prove the function of hsp70 gene experimentally if you want to do the functional characterization of a gene first you need to clone the complete sequence of that gene after cloning the complete sequence you can use this clone into different vectors according to your purpose like if you want to overexpress it or you do the enzyme assay or gene localization or is to have an analysis for confirmation of the function of the genes but for cloning a gene you must know that how to prepare the good primer to clone a full length gene in this video we will use the primer premier software to clone made the primers to clone a full length gene we can also use the manually to prepare that uh, primers to clone that full length gene and other uh, software that used to prepare the primer but in this video we already described primer premier and in the next videos we will show you how to design the primer with other softwares or manually so how to do it? let's start so this is my gene that I think that its function is related to or uh, similar to that of BIP3 gene but first you must have the CDS sequence of a complete gene that uh, not a partial gene for complete gene it must have the start codon that is the ATG base pairs while, while it has the stop codon at the end that is TAG or other that you UGA or UAE so any of the star codon it must have and also have the that ATG that is star codon so you need to copy that uh, all sequence then open that uh, primer premium software go to file new and then DNA sequence because of have DNA sequence then control V or paste so it asks you about how you want to paste it as this sequence is or if it was complemented or it was complemented so we need as is and then that what type of analysis you want to do uh, restriction size for different enzymes you want to find the motif or primer so we need to design the primer so we select on primer so it will lead you here so here is the some option that the S means sense strain or a forward primer that antisense means antisense strain or reverse primer that is a search primer this option you can use for QRT primer designing or a primer for RNAi designing a results are ready primer that you can some if you want to do the modification in these primers then you can edit that primer <coughs> here is the length of that primer sequence that is 25 base pair this is the inhaling temperature of the forward primer and reverse primer this is the GC contents and here are some other that here pin time or pulse priming so it says that the sense primer also have the hair pin timers and false priming so keep in mind that beside these properties that kneeling temperature length and gc content your primer should not have the hair pin because hair pin if high primer has a hair pin then it's a uh, a difficult to enable with your target sequence so you must remove that hairpin so first we need some editing in a sense primer to remove that um, hairpin so here you can select s so our 
fans are, are for open reflector so then go to edit primer and then you can edit or uh, remove that uh, base pair at the three prime end this is the three prime end and this is the five prime end of the primer so three at the three prime end you can edit by removing or adding some base pairs to the y here is a after a, a so here is a t if we add an analyze click on analyze so it will give you that temperature is okay gc counter is degrees so we have to remove that base pair and then analyze but still it has the hair pin and gc content also below down it doesn't matter but first we need to remove that g that hair pin so by clicking on the delete the t another and then analyze so still have then we also need to remove another a so here now we didn't have the hair pin but here the temperature is also decreases but the gc contents are acceptable so we can also uh, increase the temperature by adding one or two g or c base pair at the five five prime end of the primer you can add one or two g or c base pair at the five prime end to increase the gc content and temperature of the in any temperature of the primer but keep in mind that if the at the three prime end there is a g then you have to add the g if at the three prime end there is a c then you have to add the c but here is the g so we have to add one g then analyze so it's a 56 but we have to target our annealing temperature is 58 so we can add one more we have the so it's a temperature increased up to 60 degrees centigrade and gc content are also improved to 41 and here we have a uh, can add one or two g so we have added two g so it is okay so here is also uh, remove the hairpin if all the things are okay then we can okay now we want to prepare the anti sign so click on a and then drag this to at the end so here here from this this start this is your primer so here you can see that uh, it gives the option that it uh, did not have the uh, hairpin loop and also the temperature is also 58.6 that is uh, and different between the uh, temporary temperature is uh, less than 3 and it is acceptable and good and here you can also check that uh, energy level of that false priming is also very low so these primers are very acceptable so you can use these primer so if you want if you found the uh, uh, hairpin in that anti sensor you can also edit it by adding or deleting some bases at the three prime end so in this way you can design your primer so then you need to go to edit copy here is the sense primer go to your uh, file here gene forward and then control v <coughs> and then edit copy and anti sense yeah write the gene name that gene reverse and control v so it it has pasted the your uh, forward and reverse primer so then you can send these uh, primers to company then company will design this primer sent to you and then you, you can use these primer for cloning of your gene so in this way we can design the primers to clone the full length gene so hopefully it will help you if you have any theory please write in comment thank you